the Scottish Power, that has a Scottish Power Scholarship, has a not so conventional way of doing interview to decide who will finally benefit from their scholarship. In this video, we'll look at how you can go about preparing for the Scottish Power Scholarship. Like I said, it's not the conventional way of doing interview. What I mean here by conventional ways, for example, if you apply for admission into any university or want to do a job interview, they will ask you, why did you choose this major? Why did you choose this university? Stuff like that. Details coming up next. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Daddy Clip channel. Today let's look at the Scottish Power Scholarship. It is important to note that for you to obtain the Scottish Power Scholarship, you have to first make sure you apply to about 12 universities that the Scottish Power have named in their website. It's very important that you make sure you apply for admission into one of those universities and then apply now for funding, for them to fund your studies in any of those universities. It is important to know that you can apply before you get your admission letter into one of those universities. Or you can equally apply if you've already obtained an admission letter. It's even more preferable if you already have an admission letter because there they know that at least they are dealing with somebody who already has their admission letter in their hands like i mentioned for you to obtain funding from scottish power you have to make sure you have applied to one of the universities that have been mentioned on their website and then you equally have to upload some documents they have required documents that you must upload on their website and then they would analyze assess your documents and see if you've met their requirements if you've met their requirements, that's where they would have to decide on inviting you for the first phase of interview. On the first phase of interview, it's important that I should indicate here that it might be different for different candidates. They might present you with six questions and then ask you to explain a situation where you were forced to handle a challenging situation, a challenging problem. You would have to tell them how you went about solving that challenging situation. The best way to go about this is to deploy the STAR method, which is S-T-A-R-O, or the START method, which is S-T-A-R-O-T. -T. STAR method simply means S is the situation. You would have to explain to the interviewers the situation, make them understand the situation with which you were dealing with. You don't have to be very explicit with this situation. The next one is the T, that is the task. You have to tell them the task that you were faced with and what were the goals that you were supposed to achieve. And then the next one is A. A is the action. What were the actions that you had to undertake to obtain your intended goals? And the next one is R. R is the results. What were the results? Were they positive or were they negative? You have to explain to them the results of your actions that you undertook. If you want to deploy now the second method, which is the start method, it equally has to do with beginning from S right up to R and then simply add T. T is the take out. What is the take out from all the situation that you had to go through? Did you learn any lessons from the experience that you went through? You have to explain to them the lessons that you had learned from that situation that you had to overcome. Now, it is important to note that once you are done with the six questions, the next thing is that they will present you with a game, a mathematical calculations games, which you would have to solve. These mathematical calculation games are very easy to find on the internet, especially on YouTube. So you should go to YouTube and then try to look or some of those mathematical calculations game it will really help you prepare for this scholarship because like i said it is not a conventional type of interview if it happens that you're successful with the mathematical calculation games the next thing is that they would invite you for phase two of the interview in phase two of the interview they would present you with a situation that a company is probably facing and then they would ask you to make a presentation and then explain to them how you think the problem can be solved. It's supposed to be in the form of a presentation. And know that when you'll be doing the presentation, at the end of the presentation, you might have follow-up questions with respect to what you've just presented. So you should take into account that. And then after you're done with this presentation, if it happens that you're successful, they'll then invite you for the third phase of the interview. Don't worry, the third phase of the interview will be them presenting you with your scholarship 
to indicate to you that you're successful. So those are the phases of interview for the Scottish Power Scholarship. So it's very important that when you're going in for the Scottish Power Scholarship, you should know the type of scholarship interview that you might be having so that you'll prepare in accordance. That being said, if you know you've not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do subscribe to the channel so that you would have rich contents like this one next time so that you will not miss them. I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.